Hello, I'm Dr. Sanjay Panikar. I'm the founder and managing director of Amrita Homeopathy. We are placed in two locations. One is in Koramangala and the other is in Marathali in Bangalore. We specialize in hair and skin problems, respiratory problems, allergies, pediatrics, infertility and gallstones. Nicotine has an effect on all parts of the body and we know that smoking definitely is not something which our body is made to take up. In a post-mortem, when you study the lungs of a person who has not smoked and the lungs of a person who has smoked, a person who has smoked has blackish color lung and a person who has not smoked has a pinkish color lung. The reason why the lungs turn black is because of the tar which is there in your cigarette smoke and the lungs has a capacity to filter what is not required for the body. You're putting it under load by smoking and making the lungs to filter this tar. A person who smokes one pack of cigarettes per day usually at the end of a month ends up creating about one glass of tar from the lungs. The lungs filters about one glass of tar. So just just imagine if you're going to smoke one pack of cigarettes per day for the next one year, you will end up creating 12 glasses of tar. So that much of tar is being filtered from your cigarette smoke. So what will happen to a lung or a tissue in the body when it goes on filtering this? At some point, this thing will start creating an effect on your lung and will start turning that lung tissue into a cancerous lump. That is one of the effects. Before that, the person starts becoming allergic to the smoke that he is inhaling and starts developing cough or sometimes wheezing. And we know that as when the lungs keep getting this smoke into it again and again, the pockets in the lung which filter the air that you inhale start becoming larger and larger and lose its elasticity because it's being constantly damaged or injured by the smoke that you're inhaling. And when it loses its elasticity, it leads to a condition called as emphysema. Emphysema and sometimes over a period of time, even to conditions like bronchiectasis. In both these conditions, what happens is that the lung loses its elasticity and effectively the alveoli, which are the airbags inside the lung, which filters the air that you inhale, ruptures. And when it ruptures, what happens? You automatically cannot breathe as you were breathing earlier properly. So you are less oxygenated, you become an asthmatic for life. And over a period of time, when nicotine takes its toll on you, even lung cancers or any cancer in any part of the body can come. Because once it is taken to the lung and filtered at the lung, then it is circulated to the rest of the body nicotine reaches your whole body including the way you look changes your skin and hair starts aging so fast a person in his 20s will look like he's in his 40s aging is also directly impacted by smoking and we know so many patients who are actually developing so many dreaded diseases due to tobacco usage either smoking or tobacco chewing or so many other ways of tobacco in consumption and uh, if they do not come out of there then your effectiveness in this world the purpose why you are here in this earth or in this planet is some not met your family who has to spend healthy and happy times with you will be put under stress over a period of time when you start developing the problems when you start developing diseases recently i saw a patient who has undergone complete surgery of one side of the face this whole part has been removed because he's developed cancer here and so this whole part has been removed he's not even able to swallow now and they put a tube from his throat here they put a tube here directly to his stomach. Now, just imagine the kind of trauma that his family is facing. The patient himself is experiencing a lot of suffering. Today, there is no point in feeling bad about having smoked all this while. So, we as responsible and intelligent human beings should understand that you are putting your body under a lot of suffering. So, how do we quit this smoking? Now, many people want to quit smoking, but they're not able to quit. They know it's bad, but they're not able to quit. The main thing that you need to do is identify the reason why you feel like smoking. There will be some reason behind this. Most people feel like smoking when they're feeling bored or when they are under a lot of stress. They feel that they want to get a feel a high or they want to concentrate better or they feel that they don't smoke, they cannot pass motion because your body also got, has got into that habit. Now you want to come out of it. How do you do that? If at all a person wants to overcome one particular habit, he has to overcome it by replacing that habit with a better habit. Now, you cannot have two things running in your mind. You cannot be multitasking. You want to work in your office and you want to party at the same time. You cannot do two things that way, two extremely opposite things. Now, you cannot go to spiritual satsang kind of place and you are listening to something to make your mind thoughts better and then you 
want to smoke and you want to have that kind of a life you cannot do that right you cannot have two things until you force yourself to do it so if you want to replace one negative habit you can replace it with another negative habit like i've had patients who quit smoking and started drinking instead or you can also replace it with a more positive habit which will give you direction in your life which will give direction to somebody else's life so identify the things which you want to do in your life focus and get involved often it is a boredom or the similar situation that you are which in that makes you to smoke like you are in a group of friends who smoke so you feel like smoking or you go to a particular cafe people are smoking there you want to smoke or you have nothing to do so you feel like smoking so identify the factors which is triggering you to smoke and create a situation in your life you will have to create you will have to replace your life situation you will have to create a situation where you enter into a life situation where you are not feeling the need for that smoke your mind is occupied with something else and you don't need that. sometimes many people just want to hold something in their hand so you know you got into that habit so you want to hold something in your hand so if so then hold something else it can be say chocolate it can be a pen it can be your mobile phone get into some other habit which will take your mind away from the cigarette otherwise you will end up losing your life your family will end up losing you and lot of suffering in your life unnecessary suffering which you could have easily avoided it's a conscious effort today you are in your 20s you are looking like 40s maybe you are in your 40s and you are having a lot of lung problems breathlessness maybe you are developing a cancer inside you don't know about it many people say that there are so many people who are smoking why should i only develop a problem or why would i only develop it why not he is developing a problem each person the body reacts in a different way for one person it is the immunity which dips for another person it may be the hair which is lost for another person it may be the skin which is affected for another person it may be his lung which is affected for a third person it might be his cardiac problem which is i mean he develops a cardiac issue out of it whichever is the weakest part in your body that's what gets first affected so identify that why you're getting this feeling to smoke and create a situation which is totally different from that and then move out of that thought by involving yourself in something which is more productive than in something which is damaging to yourself my message on world no tobacco day is to make a resolve make a resolution how i can contribute to a society which is not creating trauma to the people around us and to the family in which you live to the society in which you live by quitting the smoke which is injurious to you and to the society around you my message is to see to it that we all strive towards a society which can completely be out of tobacco 